What's up, people? Ben is back with the latest on Meghan's next move after Harry's book spare. Rumour has it, Meghan's memoir is likely on the way. Should we start preparing now for more world salad, whining and score settling? Ugh, someone passed the wine. But before we move on to any further details, I'd love to thank you for your enormous love and support. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, guys, what are you waiting for? Press the bell icon and let's get started. So apparently the Sussexes have a four-book deal with Penguin Random House. We've already suffered through Harry's Poor Me Page Turner and Meghan's Snooze Fest children's book. Supposedly there's a wellness book coming soon. Riveting. But the biggie is rumours of Meghan's upcoming memoir potentially for release in 2025. Let the countdown start now. I don't know about you guys, but I'm already exhausted thinking about Meghan's book. You just know it'll be 400 pages of woe is me, the world was so mean, why doesn't everyone love me nonsense? As always, Meghan will cast herself as the innocent victim and heroine of her own story. There'll be plenty of less than veiled digs at the royal roles for not letting her shine as bright as she deserves. Oh, and lots of name dropping for celebrities she's met over the years. Really groundbreaking, literally stuff. People, but her stands will eat it up and call it iconic. Just watch. The expectation will be sky high after Harry's book performed well, but frankly, Meghan's writing is nowhere near that level. I mean, the bench was truly painful to get through. Some experts claim Meghan won't go back to acting and see a memoir as the next evolution. But let's be real, she ditched the book in a heartbeat for a leading role in an Oscar bait film. Her ego couldn't resist. Though, after the disaster, that was Pearl. Not sure Hollywood is clamouring for the Meghan Markle show right now. Her diva rep precedes her. Maybe that's why she's sticking to the book route. Gotta stay relevant somehow when no one wants you back on their sets. I could maybe see Meghan trying to pull an Angelina and go for somber, serious roles to be taken more seriously as an artiste. But that requires actual talent. So, anyway, the point is Meghan wants to reinvent herself yet again in 2024. This time as a worldly important memorist and sage. It's just a latest attempt to be seen as a graceful, inspiring role model she believes she is. But here's my prediction. It'll be a bunch of rambling, self-important drivel that even the most devoted sugars struggle to get through. Megan just doesn't have the depth or honesty required for a truly compelling memoir. It'll be 300 pages too long, bloated and self-aggrandizing judgments. At the end of the day, she's simply not that fascinating. Being a sealess actress who landed a prince through relentless chasing isn't exactly novel. The roles and Hollywood types she'll try to take digs at actually have talents, charisma and gravitas. Megan, not so much. I'd honestly love to be proven wrong and for her book to be vulnerable, witty and insightful. But let's just say I won't be pre-ordering my copy anytime soon. My advice is brace for impact, Royal Watchers. It's going to be bumpy tedious ride. Maybe we can make a drinking game out of it. Take a shot every time Megan praises herself or throws shade at Kate. Let's hope Harry has a heavy editing hand again to pare it down from an overweight thousand pages to 300. I believe in you, Harry. Give us an abridged version. At the end of the day, Megan just can't seem to quit chasing fame and attention, even after claiming she left the roles for peace and privacy. I guess Hollywood Megan is here to stay. So what do you guys think? Will her memoir be as pretentious and boring or a literary masterpiece? Place your bets in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more piping hot Megan analysis. Stay sassy.